Portland has just declared a state of emergency to help deal with the fentanyl crisis and hopefully get the streets cleaned up enough that people feel safe to live there again. But ever since 2021, we have seen an influx of people moving from these big cities into our small towns like we have here in Idaho. But I want to stop you right there. If you are considering moving to Idaho and you haven't done your research, there are some major differences that not everybody can deal with. I'm serious when I say this, that we have had a lot of people move here to North Idaho and down in the Boise area, and after just one year decide, this is not the place for me, and they're looking for a new place to live. I really hate to see that happen. So in this video, we're gonna go over the basic differences, some major differences, what people really like about living here and what they really don't like. So hopefully you can avoid making a huge mistake having to pack up and move again in a short period of time. And before we get started, guys, I just want to say what's going on in places like Portland, Seattle, L.A., San Francisco, Chicago, New York, and many other places in our country is breaking the hearts of a lot of Americans, mine included. I have family that lives near Portland. I have friends that live in Portland. It used to be one of my favorite places to visit, and that's just not the case right now. But there's a lot of division happening in our country, and that is not what this video is about. At the end of the day, we're all Americans, and I'm just trying to do my part, providing the information to people so they can decide if this is a place they could live or not. So with that said, let's dive in. First thing we're gonna look at is the population difference between Portland, Boise, and Coeur d'Alene. Obviously, there's other places to live in Idaho, but these are some of the most common areas in Idaho. And if we look over at the map, you can see North Idaho, you have Coeur d'Alene, Kootenai County, all the towns up here. And then down further south, you have Boise, you have uh, basically Treasure Valley, you have a lot of towns down there. So in Portland, you have about 650,000 people. That was back in 2021. I'm not sure what it is today. Uh, down in Boise, you have 250,000 people with a combined 800,000 people in the Treasure Valley. So it's much more comparable to the size of Portland. And then you get up here to Coeur d'Alene and you have about 56,000 people in Coeur d'Alene with a combined 240,000 people in North Idaho. So obviously the population size is gonna be very different. If you like those dense cities being around a ton of people, Boise is definitely going to be a better place. But if you're trying to get away from that, North Idaho is definitely the place to be. Next, we're going to look at the income potential between Portland and Idaho. Now, obviously, Portland being a bigger city, you have tech industries there. There's a lot more jobs. It's a lot easier to get into that six figure. So $100,000 is the upper end of what an average person can make in Portland, where here in Idaho, it's about $56,000. So it's a big difference. But if you do have the tech skills, if you do have the engineering skills, if you do have technical trade, it's a lot easier to make more than that. It's just a lot of people here in Idaho are not well educated. They're not well experienced. And there's just not a ton of those jobs to offer. So there's definitely some competition for good jobs. But for entrepreneurs, I will say it's very, very business friendly. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Next, we're going to look at the cost of living difference between Portland and Idaho. According to payscale.com, Portland is 24% above the national average. So for those of you living there, you know it is not the cheapest place to live. So if you do move to Boise, you can look at it being 6.7% cheaper than being in Portland or 9% cheaper if you're in Coeur d'Alene and the surrounding areas. Now, the next difference we're going to look at is the crime rate. So right now, according to bestplaces.net, Portland has a property crime rate of 72.4 and a violent crime rate of 21.7. While in Boise, the property crime rate is 34.2 and the violent crime rate is 16.3. So if crime is a big concern for you, Idaho is definitely going to be on the lower end of that than in Portland. Next, we're going to look at taxes, property tax, sales tax, and income tax. So in Portland, you have an average of 1.07% property tax. While in Idaho, you have an average of 0.68. In Idaho, you have a sales tax of 6%, and in Portland, you don't have a sales tax. Income tax in Portland is 4.75 to 9.9, .9, while Idaho has a flat 5.6% income tax. 
Housing costs in Portland average $515,000, while in Boise, it's $459,000, and in Coeur d'Alene, $533,000. The next big difference to look at is the traffic. According to CBS News, Portland is the 16th worst place for traffic in the country, while Boise ranks 26th, and in North Idaho, it wasn't even on the charts because we just don't have that much traffic. So that wraps up the basic differences. Now let's dive into the major differences and ones that most people do not anticipate. We're gonna start with talking about the people. Now I admit I've never lived in Portland, so this is just my observation. And it may be accurate or it may not be. Let me know in the comments what you think. But from what I can tell, most people in Portland are pretty laid back. They're into doing outdoor activities. They don't really want to be involved in the political process. They want the elected officials to handle that. And you do have a small group of people that are very extreme in their beliefs. They're very active in the political process and they want to see change no matter what. In Idaho, that's quite different. Most of the people are aware of what's going on in politics. A lot of people do get involved in the process and they really don't like to see things change too rapidly. That's especially true in North Idaho. Down in Boise, you do have a liberal uh, Democrat mayor. There are a lot more progressive movements happening down in that area that not a lot of Idahoans love. In fact, some of them are a little bit concerned. But at the end of the day, we're all Idahoans that live here and we care about each other. And we try to take care of each other. Just know in North Idaho, they're a little bit more hesitant to accept newcomers until you've proven that you're there because you want the lifestyle and it resonates with you, not because you wanna to try to change it or fix it or any of that other nonsense. And that actually leads me to a really important point. When you look on our map, some towns are right next to each other. Like here in Kootenai County, you have Coeur d'Alene, Dalton Gardens, Hayden, Post Falls, Rathdrum. They're all right next to each other, but they can be very different. Same down in the Boise area. You have Eagle, you have Meridian, you have Middleton, you have Caldwell and Boise. All very different areas with different types of living, lifestyles. And that's why my team and I have created one of the top relocation services in Idaho to help people figure out where the right place for them is and help them get them moved there. So if this is you, feel free to reach out with a phone number, email, or text for your own private consultation. We can help answer any questions you might have and help you figure out where the right place is. So feel free to reach out anytime. The next huge difference is the weather. Now, one thing I love about Portland, it's super green because you guys get a lot of rain and overcast. Well, we definitely get rain and overcast here in Idaho, but we also get some pretty gnarly weather. Summers can be really hot in the triple digits, about 100, 105, sometimes 108 for a couple of days. And then in winter, we can actually dip into the negative number. So this place definitely has all four seasons and that is not for everybody. You really need to know yourself and know, can I deal with that? Do I know how to take care of myself in those kind of conditions? You can watch this video right here. This will explain how to prepare for weather like that and do well, but that is definitely a major difference between the two. And the second to last major difference is the hunters and the gun culture here in Idaho. Now I know in a lot of parts of Oregon, hunting and guns are a pretty big deal. There's definitely an affinity for them. But here in Idaho, it is a way of life. We absolutely love hunting. We have really, really good hunting seasons here. Lots of big game to be able to hunt. Lots of area to go and hunt. 60% of the state is public land. So you're never gonna run out of areas to go and hunt. And as far as guns, we really love our guns. While the laws are getting more strict in Oregon, they're actually getting looser here in Idaho with constitutional carry, which means you get to carry a sidearm that's concealed on you without having to take any classes or get a permit or anything. So if you are into hunting and guns, this is definitely your mecca. And the last big difference to consider, especially if you have family members that are in school, Oregon actually ranks 46th in the country for their education and Idaho ranks 36th. So even though a lot of videos I talk about how our education isn't too great, it's actually doing pretty well in comparison. So those are the basic and major differences between Portland and Idaho. Next, we're gonna talk about why people really like living here. We're gonna finish with why some people really don't like this place and end up leaving. So the first thing that people really like a small town feel. Almost anywhere you go in Idaho, you still feel like you're in kind of a small town. People will smile at you. 
They're friendly, they're generous, they're polite. Now, people are people, so you're still gonna run into jerks. What's your problem, smart? I'm an inconsiderate prick! Ah! You're still gonna run into rude people, but overall, I mean, the majority are very, very friendly. And I've been in this area for 32 years, and I travel quite a bit, and I can tell you there is definitely that small town feel here. There's also a ton of outdoor activities. Now, I know in Oregon, there's also a lot of outdoor activities, but here, it's really close by. So when you're in Portland to go to a really good ski hill, I mean, you're talking about an hour and a half, two hour drive. And here, you can literally go to five different mountains all within one hour, and you can get to tracks and hills and uh, walking trails and hiking trails all within about 10 minutes here in North Idaho. Down in Boise, you have the green belt, you have walking areas, but if you wanna to get to the forest, you gotta go about 45 minutes to an hour. It's definitely, I mean, it's a valley, right? Treasure Valley. And so again, in Idaho though, almost any activity you wanna do outdoors, we have it. Next thing people really like about Idaho, it's pretty even keeled. There's not a lot of major changes that are happening. It doesn't flip flop between Republican, Democrat, and there's all these different agendas happening. It just is steadily doing its thing over the years. Now, yes, it has changed since I moved here because people are moving here, but there's still a lot of the same restaurants, still a lot of the same businesses. And yeah, they're expanding the highway, but there's just not that much change. And for some of the cities that are going through major change, this is a breath of fresh air for a lot of people. And like I said, the locals are pretty dang friendly. So with that combination of having a pretty even keeled area with friendly people, it's really easy to call this place home. We also have a lot of the wild animals like I was talking about in the hunting section, and they will just roam through neighborhoods. I mean, I, I live in a suburb. I live in an HOA and we get foxes. I have rabbits in my yard. We get raccoons, sometimes deer and elk. It's just a pretty dang, I hate to use this word, but magical place. Uh, and same thing down in Boise, lots of elk, lots of deer. I mean, it's a major city, so you're not having a ton of that happening in town, but there's lots of towns in Idaho that you see a lot of wild animals. Another thing that a lot of people like is we have a strong police presence. The police are involved in the community and there's really a strong trust between the community and the police force. We support our police and our police support us. I know that it became pretty popular over the pandemic to start chanting defund the police. And I get it. There's some pretty corrupt cops up out there. They definitely have overreached their authority in some areas, but here in North Idaho and down in Boise and throughout Idaho, the police are pretty loved here. And like I said before, Idaho is extremely small business friendly. Uh, they really make it easy to get a business started and they're not gonna tax and permit you to death just to get rid of you before you even get started. I've heard a lot of complaints about major cities like Seattle and down in California and New York. It's just a pain in the butt to try to start your own business. Not here in Idaho, they're very supportive. So lastly, we're gonna talk about the things that people really don't like and it causes them to leave. The first thing is our long winters. We can have some really, really challenging long winters. Uh, I just made a video talking about the severe winter storms that can happen and how to prep for those. We just went through a period where it was minus 16 plus wind. So more like minus 24 with the wind chill. That's no fun. That's hard for everybody. There were a lot of buildings that got messed up from that, but that's kind of the adventure you take when you live in Idaho. If you don't like the weather, you wait 15 minutes. That's kind of our slogan. Uh, it's awesome during the summer. You've got a nice, long, beautiful uh, summertime, but once fall hits, you definitely feel it. And then once winter gets here, you better be uh, bundling up and staying warm and figuring out what to do because getting stuck indoors is no fun. One thing that some people really like and other people really don't like is we have a really small government here in Idaho. And so why people don't like that is because as we're growing, as we're expanding, there just isn't enough people in government to oversee certain things like planning and uh, getting things done. And so, yeah, for people who are reliant on the government, like in major cities where there is a good sized government and things get done pretty quickly, you're not going to have that here. Uh, you can see it if you drive through Post Falls, you'll see the planning of that city just really wasn't done that well. And it's because they're very conservative in Post Falls and they kept their government really small. And we 
do start to feel some of the consequences of that as we grow and the population grows. But the benefit is, is that you don't have bureaucrats breathing down your neck. They're not trying to make a bunch of money through building permits and issuing fines and fees. And so, you know, you take the good with the bad and the bad with the good. At the end of the day, it just depends, I guess, on how much you are okay with it being a little bit slower and progression taking a little bit longer versus having really high taxes and bureaucrats that can basically ruin your life. There's not a ton of entertainment throughout Idaho. Boise is a little bit different. You've got comedy clubs, you've got concert venues, you've got the Boise Broncos down there playing football. So, and you got top golf, things like that. So there's definitely more stuff to do, but in North Idaho, there's just not a ton of entertaining things that you can do indoors. Lots of stuff outdoors, but we don't really have a good place for concerts. We don't have a comedy club. There's a couple of theaters, no top golf. I mean, we got some casinos that you can go gamble and stuff. But if you want that stuff, don't cross North Idaho off your list. Just know that it's going to be over in Eastern Washington. Uh, lots of stuff over there. You've got the Gonzaga Bulldogs. You've got concerts. You've got comedy clubs. There's definitely plenty of stuff to do over in Eastern Washington, and it's only about a 30 minute drive. And the last thing is, this is a fairly religious area. You will see a lot of churches. Down in Boise, it's very heavy with LDS. And up here in North Idaho, definitely LDS presence with Christianity, Catholicism. There's a lot of people that go to church in this area. Now, it's definitely chilled out since I moved here in 92. I'm not getting recruited to go to church every single day. I'm not being told going to hell if I don't believe as they believe. So that's nice. But yeah, just know... In this area, people do go to church. They do believe in God. That is part of their life. Doesn't mean that you have to be, but here in North Idaho, it's a little bit heavier. There's other parts of Idaho that it's not, but that is one thing that has bothered some people and caused them to feel uncomfortable and leave. So that should give you a pretty good idea. If you could deal with Idaho moving from Portland or not, and if you still need some more information, guys, feel free to reach out to me and my team the phone number and email address listed below. And if you want to learn more about Idaho, there should be a video right there. Click on either one of these videos and you can learn even more about Idaho. But if you really want to get your questions answered, if you're serious about moving here, just reach out to us and I'll see you on the next video.